everyone, it's Lucy Fink. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to share all about how to customize your home screen and make it look really beautiful and aesthetically pleasing. Give this video a thumbs up if you are ready to organize and clear out all that clutter on your phone and drop a comment down below if you have any other suggestions for technological type videos like this that you would like to see on my channel. I put together a bundle down below in the description box so you'll see a little link. It will take you to my website and for $2.99 you can basically purchase the entire bundle of my backgrounds, my brand colors, my hex codes, branding elements, and all the visual imagery that you're gonna see in this video. And that would be great if you want your phone to look very similar to the way my phone looks at the end of this video. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. I think this is a very fitting partner for this video because whenever we talk about our phones and our digital devices, we really do have to think about our mental health. I'm a huge advocate for therapy. I actually started seeing a therapist a couple years ago with BetterHelp, and I personally think that therapy is something that everyone should be doing regularly. Whether you have something that's interfering with your happiness, or something that's preventing you from achieving your goals, or even if nothing is currently wrong, I'm just such a strong advocate for people seeing therapists regularly and having it be part of their routine. BetterHelp will identify your unique needs and then match you with your own license professional therapist and you can start communicating with someone within 48 hours. Remember, this is not a crisis line, it's not self-help, it's professional therapy that's done securely online. And they have this therapist network of 20,000 plus therapists that have a huge range of expertise. This is really great because if you're trying to see a therapist in person, depending on where you live, it might be difficult to find someone that has the exact expertise that you need that is near you locally. And so BetterHelp is available for clients worldwide and you can really find that perfect fit based on exactly what you need. You can log into your account anytime you can send a message to your therapist you will get a quick and thoughtful response every single time and then you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so that you just won't ever have to sit in a waiting room in real life it's also way more affordable than traditional offline therapy and financial aid is available as well you can also easily change therapists for free if you've been paired with someone that you just don't feel like is a good match for you I will pop the link for you down below but you can visit betterhelp.com Lucy to get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp. That's better H E L P. You can join the over 1 million people who are currently working with an experienced professional and taking charge of their mental health. So I watched a ton of YouTube videos on this topic from last year for how to do this on iOS 14. One of my favorites was from a friend of mine, Natalie Barbu. I will link her video down below. I was actually on her podcast last year. If you're looking for more of a neutral theme, you might want to watch Natalie's video because she walks you through how to do exactly what I'm going to show you but in more of a neutral way so you do need at least iOS 14 but I do believe this will work on iOS 15 what I'm about to show you is a way to do this for free all the apps that I use in this video are free you can actually pay to get more features but you don't have to everything I did was for free you can choose your own color scheme or you can buy my bundle down below for less than three dollars and have your phone look exactly like mine so I have here my content manager Laura's screen this is her and her lovely husband Evan oops they're kind of hidden by apps but I'm going to do this to her phone throughout this video because I've already done it to my phone when I was prepping and practicing and now I just want to show you kind of the whole process going from a phone that looks nothing like what mine looks like to a finished version she also loved what she saw on my phone and she asked me to do it for her so I figured let's do it all live in this video so the first thing that I did is I changed the background on the phone and obviously I think we all know how to do that. I'm gonna go into the camera roll. So I have here this sunset looking picture. This was part of my branding and I made this my lock screen. So I'm going to scroll up here and I'm going to do use as wallpaper, set, 
and just set that as the lock screen. And then what I did was I actually took this photo and I zoomed in on it like this and just pinched in to make it look, you know, like a four color gradient. But this is the version that I made the home screen. And the reason is because I just wanted the home screen to be full color. I didn't want to be able to see the sunset, but I still wanted all the different tones. So this one, we're gonna go down and press use as wallpaper, and this is just the home screen. When I lock Laura's phone, this is what her lock screen looks like. When I open to her apps, this is what it looks like. And right now, Laura's pretty organized with her apps. So she has obviously things she uses all the time on the main screen, and then her next screen, she's organized stuff into buckets. This is exactly what my phone looks like pretty much. So what I'm about to show you is pretty much exactly how my phone looks. Now I'm gonna go into Laura's app store because the next thing we have to do is get two apps. And as I mentioned, these are both free apps. It's possible she already has one of them on her phone, but let's first start with Widget Smith. So I'm just going to search for that in the app store. It's this black background with the little blue square. We will press get and double click to install. It's asking for face ID. Laura's gonna have to come round for this. And then the other app is Shortcuts. I don't know if that actually comes on the phone. She actually has it here. I had it on mine too, but I think depending on what iOS you have, you might need to go into the app store and get Shortcuts. So I'm opening Widget Smith here and you can see it gives you the option to have small widgets, medium widgets, and large widgets. What I have on my phone are two small widgets and one medium widget. I personally don't have a large one, but you can customize, change, you know, do literally whatever you want here. <laughs> and I'm just gonna walk you through the ones that I used and how I did it. I'm gonna go into small widget number one, and I'm going to press on default widget, and then you can scroll down to choose whatever widget you want. Personally, the things that are the most useful for me are having a date widget, as well as a calendar widget that tells me what events are happening in my calendar that day. I usually know what month it is, but what is always skipping my mind is, you know, which day of the week is it and what number day in the month is that. So I'm gonna go with the one that says day and date, Monday the 25th, for example. And then I'm gonna scroll down to the aesthetic theme and I'm gonna press customize theme here at the bottom. So when it comes to tint color, background color, and border color, you can scroll through a lot of the options that they give here. They actually do give some nice neutral options that would work with my branding, but what I decided to do was go completely custom and you can choose the advanced color chooser which lets you input a hex code for your exact brand colors and go with that. And thankfully in my branding package, Brighton Made gave me a whole list of exact hex codes that are my brand colors. So I was able to open that document, find those hex codes and input them to get my exact brand colors here. And that's another thing, if you buy the package down below, you will be sent all of my hex codes and you'll be able to find my exact values. Great, we've got that background color, no border. And for the font color, I'm gonna customize that too and input another hex code. So now I've changed this to look exactly like my branding color combination. So I'm gonna save that and I'll update the theme everywhere across all my widgets, even though I haven't made more than one yet. Now I'm gonna add another small widget, and this one is going to be my calendar widget. So if I scroll down here, I'm gonna choose the calendar one that best suits me. Actually, there's only one option for calendar. So we're going with that and you have to let it gain access to your calendar events. It's the exact same as before. I'm gonna customize the theme because I actually wanted my two small widgets to be a little bit different. So I'm just gonna change the background color to a different hex code. Perfect. So now I'm gonna save that. And so now you can see that I have a small widget that has the day and date and a small widget that has the calendar events. Now I'm gonna add a medium widget. So you can choose obviously whatever you want for this medium widget. I decided to go with the sunrise and sunset for a couple of reasons. So one is that for my job, it's actually very important that I know when the sun is gonna set because that's the point at which I can no longer be filming and I no longer have natural light. And also, I really liked the way that widget looked because it had this little sun picture on it, which was very fitting with my branding. You can of course pick if you want, you know, the moon phases or the tides or your activity or steps for the day, anything you want. But I went with sunrise and set. And now I'm going to save that. So now I have these three widgets. I'm just gonna show you a sample large widget, even though I don't have one on my phone. 
I really like the options here. So you can do like custom text, for example, and you can obviously customize what it says. So if I change the text here to be something like collaboration over competition, there's just an example of if you wanted a quote on your home screen, or I don't know if you wanted to just remind yourself of something every day when you open your phone, you can put a large widget, but I'm not actually gonna add that to my screen. So now we're gonna go back to the home screen here, and here's how you get these widgets from Widgetsmith onto the screen. So hold down any app, I'm just gonna hold the weather app and press edit home screen. Then you'll see in the upper left-hand corner, there is a little plus arrow, so we're gonna press the plus arrow, and we're gonna search Widgetsmith. So now here you can scroll through and either add your small, medium, or large. So we had two small and one medium that I wanted to add, so I'm gonna press add widget on the small. I'm gonna do the plus arrow again, search widget smith again, and add another small one. And then we're gonna go up, search widget smith again, and add a medium one. So as you can see, it added two of the same small widgets, so we're gonna press done. Then we're gonna hold it down and press edit widget and it will let us choose which small widget we're doing. So we had small widget one and two, number two was that calendar, and number one was the day and date. So I changed that to the day and date. And now as you can see, we have those three widgets on her home screen. So the next thing we're gonna do here is change our phone so that the icons on the home screen are pictures and are actually visually pleasing and fitting with the brand colors. Unfortunately, I think the only way to do this right now is to create a shortcut where we're essentially putting like a little photo on our home screen and when we click on that photo, it's gonna take us into the app that we want to open. But I don't think there's a way, at least, you know, someone correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think there's a way to take something like the standard calendar app that's on the phone right now and change the photo of what that app looks like. I think that these are all standard. So what we have to do instead is move all of these apps aside. So I'm just gonna drag them onto her second page for now, and then we're gonna create shortcuts for the apps that we want. So here's how we do this. We are going to press the plus sign in the upper right-hand corner and press add action. Then we're gonna press the X for scripting, and we want it to open an app. So now we can choose which app we want. These are just the apps that I have on my home screen. You can obviously choose whatever apps and icons you want, but I rarely want social media stuff on my home screen, so I don't have Instagram or TikTok or YouTube or anything on my home screen. And then if I wanna to get to a social media app, I scroll to the next page and I find it buried in a bucket. And I do that strategically so that I don't instinctively open my phone and click into social media. It's kind of a little tip to get you to not go on social media as much, but you can of course do whatever you want. So we're gonna start with the camera app. As soon as I put the camera app in there, I'm gonna press next and I'm gonna name this shortcut. I usually just name it exactly what the app is called. So I'm gonna call it camera, hit done, and now it pops up there as a shortcut and I'm gonna press the three dots on top of it, three dots again under the done sign and I'm gonna press add to home screen. And now it's giving me the option to change the icon for camera. So I'm gonna press on that and go to choose photo. And now it's opening her camera roll. And as you can see, these are the icons that I created in my branding. So I'm gonna select on the little camera, hit choose, and now I've created a little custom camera icon and I can press add and done. And if I go out to the home screen here, you will see that the camera app has been added. Edit home screen and drag this to the front. Just pop it around here for now and then we'll organize this after. So that is the process in shortcuts of how to add these different apps onto your home screen. And now we basically have to do this with all of the other apps that we want on the home screen. I'll walk you through one more and then I'll sort of speed through doing the rest. So remember, the plus sign, add action, the little X for scripting up here, open app, choose the app, photos, next, I'm gonna name it photos, the three dots again, the three dots on top of it, add to home screen, tap on the icon, choose photo, and now we are going to find the photos one, which I tried to make these look exactly like the actual app covers, choose, add, done. So I've definitely found that having those photos downloaded to my phone before trying to do this makes it a lot easier. All right, now I'm just gonna go through this process and create all the shortcuts for all the apps that she needs.
if you don't plan on getting my branding package and using these, you can either create your own icons in whatever colors you want. You also don't need to have the icons match up to what the app is. I actually tried this earlier using like my Instagram story highlight covers. So I'm going to pop up a photo of what my phone looked like when these apps were arranged with my Instagram highlight covers. And it does look really pretty, but I do think it was a little confusing for my brain to try to figure out what the apps were. Even though it does have the text under it and it tells you what app it is, it is still a lot of colors and patterns and I find that actually being able to look at an icon and see that it's a clock makes it easier for me to know that maybe that's the clock app or you know maybe this phone is where I can make calls from. So I found it to be a lot more functional to use icons that look like the app icons, but you can of course just use solid colors. A lot of people just go to Pinterest, take a screenshot or download a solid photo onto their phone and then use those. You can honestly use whatever you want, but I really do think having these icons makes it a lot easier. So now we're gonna edit Laura's home screen and make it look like mine. All right, so the first thing we need to do is hold down an app, edit home screen, and drag all of these new icons onto her front page. So before we arrange them, let's get them all over. And now I'm just going to arrange this the way that it's arranged on my phone. So I have this sunset thing at the very bottom, I have the day and date on the top, and then the arrangement of my icons was kind of just based on personal preference, but I did organize it in this way such that, as you can see, like in this upper right hand corner, there's two with a light pink background and two with a white background that are diagonals. And I do that also down here. So here's the clock, the notes, the calendar, and the mail. And then I put these four at the bottom. So podcast, internet, phone, and Spotify. And I made all four of those at the bottom the same color. Okay, now if I press done, her home screen looks exactly as it should. What I will do is go to this next page and take all of these stray apps and put them into their proper buckets so that the second page is very organized. So one thing that is important for me to share about doing this to your phone is that essentially what we've done is we've taken these icons and these apps and we've moved them into another folder. So what you're seeing on her home screen right now is not actually the app itself. It's a shortcut to the app, which means when I click on photos, it is going to take me into photos, but you will see that it pops up that little thing on top that says like photos via shortcuts. So for example, if I press weather, you can see a thing pops down that says weather shortcuts. And that can be a little bit annoying because it does look like a notification. And as far as I know, there's no way to get rid of that, but I've now been using my phone like this for a while and I don't find it that annoying. It just basically open shortcuts for a second and takes you into the app in a split second. So here are the perks of organizing your phone in this way. You can use your phone a lot less. When you open your phone, you'll get this like calming, organized, pretty color palette that's based on your personal preferences. Obviously this declutters your phone and your home screen, which can hopefully declutter your mind. Also these shortcuts do not get badge notifications. So you will never see like the numbers popping up on it telling you you have two messages. I personally had that feature turned off to begin with, so I never had that, but if you're a person that has that right now, you might find it a bit relieving to not see that number badging on your icons every time, and you can just check your messages whenever you wanna check your messages. If you do opt for my bundle down below, but you want different apps on your home screen, there are a couple things you can do. So for example, if you want the settings app, or if you want Venmo or you know Apple Pay, you can always go into Canva and you can use my hex codes that I give you in the bundle to create your own icons that look like the apps. I also think in the bundle, I did throw in a few other apps like the settings app and some other apps that a lot of people like on their home screen that I don't have there. So I did put a bunch of those in the bundle, but you can always easily create your own by just dragging an image from the internet in and then changing the colors. Or you can also use one of my Instagram story highlight covers as a different app anything you want. I will say at first when I had this set up on my phone it was something new and as with any sort of change it was a little difficult to get used to so I kept kind of looking in the old places for my apps. The other thing is these widgets don't actually open to anything so if you press on Monday the 25th it's just gonna take you into Widgetsmith. So I did find myself tapping on 
the calendar to try to see my events and it was just taking me into widget smith but i definitely found that following these tutorials on youtube on how to do this was very easy so i hope you found this video useful if you do decide to get my bundle and change your phone to look like lucy fink media branding colors please take a screenshot. I would love to see what your home screen looks like and I'd love to see how you arrange and organize this yourself. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if it changed your phone for the better, I'd love to hear from you down below in the comments section and I will see you next time right here on YouTube.